And the investigators are now looking again at the backgrounds of the two pilots, one of whom had built a flight simulator at his home. Here's Bob Orr. Investigators want to determine if the flight simulator found in Captain Zahari Shah's home was ever used to practice radar evading maneuvers and landings at remote airstrips. Sources say a preliminary analysis found nothing unusual in the simulator or Zahari's background. He's a married father of three and a flight instructor with more than 18,000 hours of experience. But the sequence of events surrounding the jetliner's disappearance is focusing suspicion on Zahari and his co-pilot Farik Hamid. The 27-year-old Farik has just over 2,700 hours flying, having recently moved to the 777. He's been described as a quiet religious man who was planning to marry. Malaysian officials today said it was Farik who uttered the last words heard from Flight 370. All right, good night, he said at 1.19 a.m. on March 8th. Two minutes later at 1.21, the plane's transponders quit sending the jet's location, altitude, and speed to controllers. It was flying at 35,000 feet en route to Beijing. Around the same time, during a half-hour window from 107 to 137, the plane stopped sending engine performance and maintenance text messages to the airline. Multiple sequential failures would normally suggest a catastrophic event and crash, but military radar and satellites indicate the jet kept flying for another seven hours, turning away from its flight path and heading west towards the Indian Ocean. Investigators are now going through the backgrounds of all passengers and crew members, Scott, trying to determine who might have had the skill necessary to hijack and fly a Boeing 777 and the motive to do that. Bob, thanks very much.